like this. Let me show you how to do it. So if you thought that sequential turn signals were not for trucks, you're gonna learn something in this video because this thing is going to get this brand new 60 inch length light bar, which is gonna be mounted in the typical location right down here. Simple stick on. This is pretty much what the tube looks like. These come in two sizes, 49 and 60 inch lengths. This is a full size Ford, so I'm gonna be using the 60 inch. And these are the functions. Pretty exciting, right? Directionals, which is sequential. So it does like the tr -tr 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 kind of deal. For the left and the right, running lights, brake lights, reverse lights, which would be super bright because look at this thing. This thing's got a lot of lights on there, lots of diodes. And this double flashlight, we'll see what that's all about. Five patterns, I'm gonna be hardwiring it into the corners to avoid CAN bus errors. Because in my last video, if you saw it, I'll put a link to that video on my 2017 F-150 XLT Sport. It gave me a CAN bus error. This one here, I'm going to I'm going to pull this light fixture out. I'm going to get my right turn, my brake, my parking lights, and my reverse from here. And I'm going to run a lead over to there to get the left turn signal. Now, in case you were wondering, you can actually take these lift gates. You can pick them up and you can lift it up and out. But since this one here has ton of wiring and cameras and a bunch of other stuff and I'm just gonna leave it be I'm just gonna close up the gate and there's plenty of room you can see to access everything in here that I need to get first I'm gonna clean it then I'll adhere it of course the fun part which probably everybody wants to see is the wiring part one small detail I like to share with y'all over here where it says green is your right turn and yellow is your left uh -uh. that's not right yellow is your right green is actually your left because I powered it with my power probe over there and I was like, why the hell is it, if I put on the left blinker, why the hell is the thing blinking on the right? Go figure. Otherwise, it looks pretty damn cool, I'll show you. There's with my left blinker on. Notice over there is my left blinker, and the right thing is going. <laughs> oh, I love Chinese tooling, it's the best. Uh. So let that be the first part of this review. Wire this hardwired, and do the left and right backwards. I will not be using this plug. I never intended on using this plug, by the way. But if you do install it and you get this backwards syndrome, what I got going on here, that's why. To remove your tail lights is pretty easy. You just take out these two bolts right here, two eight mils, and you can pull the light housing straight out. After you take out the two nuts right here, you just wanna pull this straight forward. It'll make a little crack. Don't let it scare you. Just pull it straight out. It'll come out just like that like it's just that clip right there holding this whole thing together right down there another one up there and the two screws over here so right down here you can see that's the edge of the light bar wiring so I just dropped it down and on the other side I'm gonna take some of this wire loom I'm gonna loom it up and bring it back up here behind this unit that keeps the, the, the gate from dropping down and slamming run it up and down through here I've already noticed that my blue white is my parking light wire. I'm just gonna also find my right directional and my reverse on this side. And of course the left directional I'm gonna get, run that over to that side. So now I got my harness out here ready to get wired up. And I got some of this loom on the factory side pulled back. Here's your connections that you're gonna be making right here. Like I said, the blue white, that there is my running lights. So I'm gonna take a T-tap, a T-tap just clicks on there like that and it provides this female terminal which you can take and it's one of these insulated male terminals and it slides right in there just like that I'm gonna do that for those three connections the ground I'm gonna get right there on that bolt and that's what you can expect a t-tap connection to look like once it's completed and this here is an 18 gauge connector by the way so I click that on there it gives me a female insulated male goes in there like so so here's our completed wiring. We have the ground here. Here we have the burning lights. This is my reverse. This is a green, like a green, green with a brown stripe. The blue white, that's your running lights. Then the green with the orange, that's your right directional signal. And we should see all of that. 
We should be able to see all that right down here. And we do. Well, that's good. All right, there, there's your final connection. That is the gray with the red stripe. That is your left turn signal wire right there. Go. What the hell? How did you put Going directly to the lights when I grab my power. It's way better than the last installation on a 17 XLT. Now I still get to keep my grid. Over here, it says rear parking, rear parking brake, rear parking aid, whatever the hell that thing is, is on. No trailer is connected. No errors, no problems, no can errors, nothing. Beautiful. Just beautiful. 